What's good everybody? My name is Jay Fatty. Welcome back to another video. Today I got something super simple, but a lot of people it seems like don't understand this still. I'm going to show you how to compress, all right, and talk about what compressing actually is. So, let's get right into it. I got this nice little drum loop. We're just going to glue these together and make them sound a little bit louder, but this is what we got right now. First thing I did was route everything to a mixer track and then I routed it to a drum bus and then I routed that drum bus to a second master, all right? So all we're gonna do first is glue them together with a main compressor on the drum bus. All compressing is doing is, like I just said, it's squishing them down and kind of just gluing them together, that's it. Now I Google imaged a waveform just to give you an example of what a uncompressed sound may usually look like. It's something that where it's transients, a transient, let's click on this picture, a transient is these initial highs and low parts right here, all right, these peaks, but you see how it's kind of um, like this one's bigger than all of these and all that shit, you know, so this is kind of like uncompressed, a compressor, all it would do is kind of like squish all of them down so they're more level without cutting the sound, it's just going to squish it. It's not going to directly cut it like a limiter would or a soft clipper goes in and rounds the top, all right, of the transient. Now, a compressed, this looks more like a compressed waveform. You see the transients are all kind of leveled, you know, and around the same peak. This is something that would need to be compressed a little bit. But yeah, just, you know, shit like that, so. Let's just go on the drum bus and we're gonna just put in fruity compressor just to keep it simple. But I do also like to use the solid bus comp from Native Instruments. We got fruity compressor pulled up here. Okay, so we're just gonna talk about each of these. Now the attack, that's how hard the sound signal is gonna hit in a sense, right? So just keep it basic. So the attack, think about it. It's how hard it's gonna hit, all right? Now release is how hard it's gonna come or how fast it's gonna come back from that attack. So if it's a long release, it's gonna attack and then draw out its um, return. So just think about that. If it's a low release, it'll hit and then come back quicker. All right, and now we got the ratio. That's just how, the ratio of the compression to the, the sound, right? And then you got your compression type over here. So you can do like a hard compression, a medium compression. You can keep it vintage. You can do soft. And then some more settings here. I normally keep it around medium and hard, but it's all up to you to experiment with that. And then gain, that's self-explanatory. Gain's just going to bring it up in volume. Now, what I see a lot of producers do is... They'll mess with all of these settings, including myself. I used to do this when I had no idea what the heck I even could. I used to put a compressor on everything just to do it, just because I thought you had to. I didn't know what it was actually doing. But, you know, so they'll mess with all of these settings. All that's doing is bringing the gain up 3 dB. So it's not doing anything. To actually make the sound do something, you have to mess with the threshold as well because the threshold is like the activation point. It lets it know when to start compressing. All right. So let's just, let's, let's, let me just edit this and then I'll talk about what I did. So all I did there was went for a pretty decent attack. Nothing too crazy, though. And then a lower release. And then a ratio of 4.4 uh, to 1. And then I just brought the threshold until I heard the effect kind of start doing its thing. Because you can hear it, like, when I bring it down here. 
you can hear it like start really fucking up the sound because it's compressing it too much. But you know, get to that point where it starts to affect it, and then bring it up, and get to a point where it just all sounds good together. That looks pretty dope. Now what you can do is you can go into each sound now and put a compressor on it if you need to, to see fit. Most of the time with these sounds that we get nowadays, they're already super affected and you don't really need to do anything to it. I do like to put a compressor on my drum bus though. Now to look at the waveform of the sound, you can actually just view waveforms up here on the mixer. So yeah, I just gave it a rough little mix, but yeah, that was just a little quick video talking about compression and it's not, it wasn't super advanced, just a little basic tutorial on it, but all you're doing is trying to glue the sounds together and make them sound good. If it already sounds good, you don't need to put a compressor on it. So keep that in mind, just like EQ, you don't need to EQ everything. But yeah, if this video did help you guys, make sure you leave a like and hit subscribe and hit that little bell. Really appreciate all that support. And um, yeah, until next time, everybody, make sure you stay striving and you stay getting it. Much love, everybody. Peace.